shoulders take up the whole space. Jeez, just like in the last video, I'm like in the background. That's why they call me Michael Swelps. <laughs> what? That's the Swedish Michael Phelps. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Brian and Carissa, Carissa and Brian, this is what it is. <laughs> so today marks five years that we've been married to each other, which means that yesterday marked five years that we were engaged. <laughs> That's true. Nah. Like you think he's lying. It's not a lie. <laughs> I'm so cute. Brian, we're gonna put you on the spot for a second. Why in the world did you wait until the day before our wedding to propose to me. It's because my family was coming out. We had been dating for a year. Okay, so we lived in Utah at the time. He went to school in Utah. Right. He's from Kansas City, Missouri. Correct. He has family all over the country. Okay, Correct. continue. We were away from my family. We were away from both of our families, actually. Um, yours was much closer. Your family still lived like an hour away. Okay, yeah, but that's not bad. Okay, my family was coming out in at the end of the summer and we're like well might as well when they're out here let's just get married so <laughs> we you make it sound like you didn't want to do it we shotgunned it oh please okay so brian you loved me and you know it but right. brian had commitment Passions. issues you love me still oh, okay. but he had commitment issues and i'd be like so are we gonna get married <laughs> not really though you didn't really pressure me well, I wasn't trying to pressure you. I was like, okay, it's like April. I'm like, okay, no, his family's coming to town. It's like May. I'm like, ugh, I know they're coming to town, so I guess we're not going to get well, married. Part of that is my procrastination. So we kind of got the ball rolling before actually getting engaged. So you actually have a picture mm -hmm. of a, uh, a post-it note that you wrote down, and it says propose on there. We're mm -hmm. going to show it. Yeah, I have it on my phone. Oh. Yeah. So we'll show it. Uh, I, I think it's so sweet. I think it's so cute. I don't remember any of this. But because we had such a short engagement, yeah, I, I remember all of the details. Because we had such a short engagement, we just forgot to get engaged. Mm -hmm. Right? Common, common thing. <laughs> yeah. common. We're like, hey, we common. love each other. We know we want to be together forever. Let's get married. And then we got engaged the day before. Mm-hmm officially and i didn't even think it was going to happen honestly yeah i was kind of irritated it was cute though it was cute some of you have asked what are some of the highlights of our five years of marriage like what are some of, we talk a lot on this channel on our channel about some of the kind of sad low points um, so we wanted to talk about what some of the highlights have been one of the most fun things we talked about before this was going to Costa Rica. That was super fun. I had never been out of the country. We'll link a video to our trip in Costa Rica. Um, what was your favorite part of Costa Rica? Well, I think we both agreed the zip lining the best was fun. In the rainforest. In the rain. In the rain. In rain the rain. Forest. Yeah. And there were monkeys. Monkeys? It was so cool. Yeah. They weren't jumping on the bed. Getting our little doggy was fun. Our little oh, yeah. butties. His name, by the way, is not butties. <laughs> His name's Rory. We just have a thousand nicknames for him. Definitely our positive pregnancy tests. Yeah. We've had two of them in the other heartbreak stuff. We'll link those as well somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Those were some really awesome moments. Mm -hmm. Even though we've had some low lights, right? Some, some lows with our infertility and our miscarriage and just life in general. We've been able to share on YouTube and on Instagram and help other people through this trial, which is really, really cool. As sad as it may be that we're all in this same situation, not everyone that's watching this obviously, but many of you, it's still kind of a highlight that we get to help so many people. And in, in turn, it helps us too. So no matter what, no matter what, the, the thing is, is you don't have to be going through infertility or miscarriage. Yeah. It's just life in general is hard, whether you're a kid, whether you're an, you know a teenager, whether you're an adult, uh, it's hard whatever phase of life you're in and we just want people to know they're not alone mm -hmm. and so yeah and you can laugh and get through it I think those are pretty much the highlights for me mm -hmm. it's about it <laughs> so it looks like we need to sell everything and live in an RV yeah we've got some <laughs> we, good things we're we, cooking for the next <laughs> five years yeah stay tuned baby okay so the biggest question Brian is how did you propose I thought the biggest question was will you marry me 
Okay, yes, but that's a part of it. That's part of it. So I remember going out to dinner just what, like two nights before we got married, two or three nights before we got married, and my girlfriends were like, so how did he propose? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, well, he hasn't actually proposed yet. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that. And they're like, what? I'm pretty sure everybody thought I was nuts. They're like, what are you doing? This isn't gonna, okay, nobody actually said this, but I'm pretty sure they're like, this isn't gonna work. Let's back up just a little bit. So I already had the ring, okay? I already had the ring because we had taken bridles. No, engagement photos. So I already had the ring. So he couldn't propose to me with the, with, uh, with the engagement ring. But one of the things that I did at the beginning of my stocking ship, I wanna say courtship, but it wasn't a courtship yet. I had the biggest crush on Brian. I will link that video here and I stalked him kind of. I thought it was flirting, but it's more like stalking. Don't follow my footsteps. And I took him a cupcake to the gym on Valentine's Day. You weren't into it. I did not like <laughs> cupcakes. Or me stalking you at the gym. I liked to be alone when I went to the gym <laughs> and I started getting a little fan group. So the day before our wedding, I honestly didn't think he was going to be proposing to me. Like I knew it was on his to-do list. Uh, but I I kept like asking him, so what are you gonna do? Like, you only have so much time. Like, the clock is ticking. And he just hadn't proposed yet. And I was like, okay, well, I guess we're just gonna get married and not get engaged. We were staying at his sister's, well, our brother-in-law's family's cabin in Sundance. The whole family. And um, I was downstairs in the basement. I didn't really have service. I think maybe you texted me to check my email or something or to see if I was awake. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Um, but I get this email from you that just says, ah, like A-W-W-W, and then a link to YouTube. And what is it? It's like the most romantic proposals in like Movies. movie history. See, we've been YouTubers since. YouTube has been From the beginning. beginning part of our... Oh, wow. We just made that connection. It was meant to be. So I watched it. It's like four minutes long. And at the end of the video, Brian opens up the... I want to say door, but it's not a door. It's like one of those French things. Yeah. So he opens that up and he gets on his knee, which I appreciated. And where is it? Oh, it's right here. He gets on his knee and he has a cupcake with this marry me on the cupcake so on the cute. cupcake and i think i don't think you said anything i just think you said will you marry me and you were crying oh my gosh i'm no, gonna cry no yeah you were you were crying and i was crying yeah brian it's okay to be romantic honey it's okay to be romantic oh it is yeah oh i had stayed up all night i had stayed up late that night you got the email you said it like Three in the morning. Three forty-five 3 in yeah. the morning. Um, the day before our wedding, right? The day before. Because I had stayed up trying to plan all this, figure it out. I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> I'm at a deadline here. Um, <laughs> and I had worked it out so that I knew she was getting up at like seven o'clock. I'd set my alarm, got up like 30 minutes before that so that I was downstairs waiting outside of her room when I heard her play the video. So the video was like four minutes long. It gave me a buffer time to make sure that I was where I needed to be when, when the video ended so that I could open up the door and here I am. <laughs> Propose. So. It was really sweet. It, it was, was sweet. It was a little it, delayed. It was delayed. It's not your normal proposal. It's not your normal engagement story. But, but... we haven't had your normal life. <laughs> no, we haven't. So. Isn't it just kind of fitting now it's for fitting. us? So that just, I think, adds to our character of our relationship and of us. Yes, it does. Anyway. Yes. It's been a good five years. It's been a hard five years. There's been some good times. There's been some hard times. I'd say that it's going to just get better, right? It's I mean, got it's to. got to. Anyway, honey, it's I love you. Love you too. I love you. Oh my gosh, don't. Don't, okay, we're gonna post some, we're gonna share some videos, some pictures of, don't look at me right now, I'm gonna cry. Don't, Brian, I'm gonna cry. We're gonna share some pictures of our wedding day. That was a good day. I think my eyeball was stuck on my <laughs> eyelash. And <it> was like... <laughs> That's one thing about our marriage is we can always, for the most part, laugh. 
as you always make me laugh. We'll share some pictures of our, of our wedding day. We're excited to share this with you guys and the next five years as well. We love you. Don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and uh... Thanks for the support. Toodles. Toodles. Threedles. <laughs>